it doesn't always seem that way from the onboard cameras, it's incredibly demanding both physically and mentally to drive a Grand Prix car. That's why Formula One drivers every day of their lives have to train, eat and drink very carefully. You'll remember that we put my body through some of those stresses and strains at Kinetic near Farnborough. First, we pumped up my pulse rate with a solid cardio workout. My muscles were nicely warmed up. Then we applied serious heat, just as the Formula One cockpit does. Next, I dressed up in the regulation four layers of fireproof clothing. Now, my body really struggled to tolerate the physical challenges which the drivers constantly experience. Finally, the mysterious G-force had to be applied. A Formula One car generates five times the force of gravity during braking and cornering. This invisible force simply soaks up your energy. Despite my 25 years as a professional racing driver, I was still absolutely amazed at the energy involved when they applied only G-force to my body and I wasn't thinking about driving through a corner. Well, amazingly and impressively, Williams Toyota have provided us with the latest FW29. I'm going to jump into it and show you how all of those stresses and strains relate to being behind the wheel and in the cockpit. A Formula One car is a high-speed furnace. There are heat sources all around me. On each corner, a tyre at 100 degrees centigrade. Brakes at a fairly believable 1,000 degrees centigrade. Either side of me, water, oil and fuel radiators. The back of my seat is the front of the fuel tank. And that could run as high as 60 degrees centigrade. And in the cockpit, a lot of electronic control units generating heat. To make it worse, I've got four layers of fireproof clothing, just like I had in that test at Kinetic. Plus helmet, boots, gloves, of course. Worse still, the aerodynamicists don't want a lot of turbulent air coming through this cockpit. They want it going into the take for the engine above my head. They want clean air with positive pressure through there for more engine power. So I'm sitting in a void. In all of this heat, you're working very, very hard. It's not a good environment to work in. The six-point seat mouse are pushing me into this custom-made seat, which hurts when I'm sitting in the pit. Otherwise, it wouldn't be tight enough to hold me in place under heavy braking, such as this, into Abbey. And also, these belts, along with the hands device, are pushing down hard on the very muscle that has to turn the wheel and hold my head in place through corners such as bridge there. My head just wants to roll off my shoulders. I feel I'm like, I feel like I'm going into a sumo wrestling match with King Kong. My body is begging me to lift the bottom, to unwind the steering rod, to take away some of the default. We know from the latest graphics that Formula One cars generate defaults in acceleration, cornering and braking. They only reach equilibrium at top speed. Just before violence starts all over again. And that G-force is just soaking up my energy. And the heavy braking, my lungs want to hit the inside of my rib cage. And it forces me to exhale even when I don't want to. It's just taking all the life out of my body. So you have heat, extreme physical demands, tremendous call on your brain power too, to manage the engine, the shift, the right racing line. It makes you fully appreciate just why these racing drivers are so fit 
and so highly paid as they fight over the same piece of tarmac. You realise how hard it is as you sit inside the cockpit and their ability to fight each other head to head on the racetrack whilst controlling these amazing machines. With my body stretched to the limit and my mind in overdrive, I also had to think about keeping the car on line. Of course, the Grand Prix drivers too have to think about racing others into the same corner, challenging over the same piece of tarmac. And also, of course, the race strategy as it unfolds. No wonder they're highly paid and super fit. I hope I've given you a much better feel for exactly what the challenges are for a Grand Prix driver. <laughs>